Greetings and welcome. An inner pathway to reintegration and mastership. There is an inherent mystery in life, an inner urge, an attraction to move toward the light. This mysterious component of life is innate in all life forms. It is, one might say, an urge to seek illumination or to manifest the Creator's beautiful light. This urge is responsible for the interplay of human relationships and experiences. It is the responsible it is responsible for evolution's forward movement and progress toward the greater light. Observe the plant pushing its way out of the darkness of the soil and into the light of the sun, where it can then express its full potential. Observe the infant, anxious to express life, moving and extricating itself from the womb of its mother under this mysterious impulse. Observe this innate urge in the human being as he or she continues to search for greater knowledge, for greater illumination. Observe the human being moving into experiences and into relationships that are destined to bring lessons to learn and thus spiritual growth. Observe the students of mysticism penetrating into the realms of the soul, a place of light and of beauty. Masters and philosophers have written on the pages of wisdom concerning the book of man and the book of nature. This, this mysterious governing intelligence is vibrating and communicating wisdom throughout all of life. Behind the seemingly ordinary routine aspects of our daily lives that constitute only the appearances of life, there is a mystery and a mystical existence. If we are governed and caught up in the illusions of appearances, we only touch the superficial aspects of life and of relationships. To become more spiritual requires us to create a desire to pierce beyond these veils of appearances and seek attunement with the reality that lies above and beyond the obvious. We, we seek to know the essence of spiritual realities of spiritual truths and to discover who we are and what is the soul's desire. The soul must eventually express itself through our human personality. If we were to, to contemplate and practice the truths of mysticism, 
we would achieve the realization of what truly governs life and events. The human form is a symbol and the eternal truths are veiled within all symbols. We would discover mystical wisdom by piercing and lifting the veil which lies within us and all around us. Cosmic laws and spiritual purpose are revealed at this point. Human experiences also often veil significant cosmic lessons and purposes. As we learn to read symbols or grasp their true meaning, we acquire the techniques for lifting the veils and we enhance the process of regeneration. The soul begins to control the outer form of life and all of life's events. Increasingly, we bring spirituality into our lives and then as true reintegration began to take place, Questions arise in the mind of the student. How can I accomplish true reintegration? How can I learn to balance mystical teachings with daily experiences while living in a world full of crises and conflict. How is this possible when I do not live a detached existence high on a mountaintop <clears throat> and secluded in a cave, away from the vicissitudes of life? Beloved, <clears throat> through the law of rebirth, you purposefully chose to live within this world of limitless challenges, diverse vibrations, and complex relationships, all of which have effects upon the body, the mind, and the emotions. For this reincarnation period, you have chosen this as your path toward reintegration. You accomplish reintegration and reintegration by moving your consciousness further and further and further into the light. You also help in moving humanity forward. Our daily lives seem to encourage us to forget who we really are and why we are on this human journey. However, it is our duty and responsibility to train ourselves to to continuously seek our true identity. It is our responsibility to seek, to seek and to understand the spiritual and the beautiful that surrounds us and is within us. Petition by way of the heart to God and the cosmic hosts thusly. O oh God, thou who art the divine architect of the universe, 
thy beauty that lies above and beyond the earth is like unto the beauty which I perceive and I seek to perceive in my brothers and sisters and in all forms of life that surrounds me. Whatever that form might be, grant unto me thine eye with which I might see this beauty. Subdue my human eyes whose tendency it is to highlight my brothers and sisters' impurities, and in so doing, I have but strengthened my own imperfections. For if I am able to lift the veil and see the beauty which lies within my brothers and my sisters and within all that surrounds me. I will be able to see and to feel and to express thy beauty which lies abundantly within me. This beauty is all one and the same, one divine reflection of thyself. We are all divine creations and spiritual reflections of thyself. As we enter the Aquarian age, we are given the opportunity to find, to see, and to learn beauty in non-traditional forms and non-traditional places. We must strive to discover beauty not only in the faces of all the people we meet, but in every manifestation of nature, in plants, in trees, in flowers, and in the waters, and in small and large creatures. We must also seek to find beauty in stones, in driftwoods, and even in a piece of scrap metal that has been artistically fashioned by the human hand and spirit. Spirit and beauty are all in Spirit and beauty are in all of these. The progress, a process of regeneration and eventually reintegration is the process to unity.